We're back with TJ's car. We're slowly assembling stuff. The reassembly takes forever. Ooh, look at how cool that looks. Don't you guys wish you could see what color we did the front side? Not yet. We cleaned up this. That we cleaned up a lot of stuff because we're trying to make it well, look like a new car when we put it back together. We got a huge box from Detworks that is gonna be all the right fuel components that he did not have yet going in this car and all these fittings. So Detworks makes PTFE hose and they make PTFE compatible fittings and he's going to run all of that on the Z. I'm gonna take these out and show you real quick. Here's some PTFE line dash six. There we go. Nice, nice. And then we have dash eight in this box and then all these hose fittings. So this should be enough plumbing to finish the entire car. And we also have some 350 IO pumps. We're gonna have two in the surge and one feeding the surge tank. Then we have pre-filters, two of them. Those will go inside the surge tank to filter fuel before it goes up towards the injectors. Then we have one inline filter and we have one bracket. So pretty much all set up to plumb this whole car. But first we gotta get the motor in, get some of the other uh, like surrounding supporting components in so we know where to do all the fittings and hoses, how to make it come out nicer. We're gonna be going all day on this car. Here is step one of the rebuild basically. So we have Juan Supra here. We've been waiting a while. We got the engine bay painted. It's all pretty under there. We did some custom brake lines and eliminated ABS for him. But he's been waiting on machining and some other stuff on the bottom end of his uh, motor. But then also we sent the head out to get a CNC port job. So this is the same port job that I run on my pro car. It's hard to see, I guess, inside of there you get the idea of what a cnc port looks like it's just they shave all the metal out with a cnc machine to the maximum area that they can without interfering with coolant jacket or anything like that so this is his head it's a vvti head and then he went with all bc um can uh yeah bc cams BC sprint, dual springs are underneath here and then intake and exhaust valves. He got new guides. We're gonna go drop this off at um, Engine Supply, the machine shop that's gonna set up his head and then they're also setting up his bottom end then we'll pick it up when they're ready. And after that we will do like the final assembly of like putting his head studs and all that stuff will happen over here at our shop. So for right now, pretty much just dropping this stuff off at the machine shop. Whop. So check this out. Stuff slowly coming together and really cleanly. Remember this, we got a powder coat it all fancy. Looks nice now. Everything looks so good with the gray. Lots of stuff that's still installed, but handbrakes in, this wiring's in. We added one new relay because he's adding another fuel pump so he can have a proper lift pump for his surge tank for the DW. 350 IL surge tank setup. This is just cleaning in and Starting to put like the panels back together. We're gonna drop the radiator in shortly and then continue adding pieces and then tomorrow a lot more stuff. We're hoping to have the motor in today. The motor is over there, but it's that way where these other motors are. I just don't wanna show you right now because it has some secret stuff on there. So you'll have to wait. Whoa, there's a big Jay-Z. They're only so big, but looks big out of the car. We'll get it in, get the trans mount bolted down, get everything situated in here, 
and then we can start working on some fuel lines with some Detroit stuff and cleaning up the wiring a little bit, everything we could do. But what about that turbo exhaust side though, huh? Okay, stop. Forward. Hey, you need to tilt it. You need to push up like right here and let it spin. So have Connor hold it steady. You press up like here and it'll slide and then it'll stay a little bit. Okay. Yep, like that. Okay, now, now it'll just go in. Forward. Yep. It's a mini Supra. The motor's in. That was quick, huh, guys? But you weren't there for the whole part. Okay, we gotta go. I don't want to give away any secrets. Check that out with the new trans tunnel setup. It's like a triangle. Works just right. And then now we will start connecting stuff. Probably get some hard lines in there for the coolant. See if we need to replace any of these pieces for TJ because it's had a lot of use last year. All right, gotta keep going. We'll keep you guys updated. What's coming next? Dun, dun, dun. I don't know what you guys think, but me and Joe think that this is really, really overkill. I think it needs some more reinforcement. We might reinforce it. What do you think, TJ? <laughs> This is the manliest ever for a transmission mount. You're not gonna have issues there, TJ. I like it. Um, so you guys can see the underside, because then I don't have to give away any secrets, because you can't see what we're doing up there. So that's it for today, see you guys later. It's Thursday, we're underneath TJ's car. We um, went through and like anything that needs servicing, like these couplers, we put new ones. And JV Auto Body painted this all nice to match the other gray. Ooh, is that exhaust wrap? Yep, it's PTP lava exhaust wrap. So that's new. And then up here, new coupler, a couple new little details. Still not gonna show you any of the color stuff that you wanna see. And then up inside here, more wiring coming together and being P-clamped in place. So it's slowly starting to come back together. The water pump is in and some of those hoses, we're gonna install those boxes up over that, which will be good. We're gonna put the radiator in, a couple of the other uh, front structure pieces as it's coming together. This Saturday, I will be at Stance Wars LA, which is at Santa Anita Park. You guys should be there. I got invited to be in TJ's booth. He has a big booth set up there. There's gonna be all kinds of variety of cars, one of which will be the Supra. So if you guys are free this weekend, come out on Saturday evening from four to nine, and you can check out the Supra, meet me, get an autographed poster if I have any left, and then buy some rad merch. But we're just fixing up the Supra real quick. Had a little bit of fiberglass damage here on this door. Joe fixed some other stuff. Still gonna look like a race car, but it's a pretty race car. So come check it out and meet me if you guys are in town. Be cool to see you. All right, see you then.